Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here's another video by Ratchets and Wrenches, and today I'm going to show you how to disassemble an EJ25, which is a 2.5 liter Subaru engine. And you know, I didn't pull this engine, I had someone pull this engine for me. And as you can see, they pulled it by the, the intake manifold. Which is definitely not recommended, but uh, when you're paying someone $75 to pull a Subaru engine, you can't expect much much better than this. <laughs> but uh, you know, I know the guy, and I've known him uh, do this. Uh, I've seen him do it multiple times without problems, so kind of took a chance. But anyway, this engine has a uh, had a rod knock. That's why I pulled it, and uh, basically, you know, it idled fine. But as soon as you gave it some gas, or you revved it a little bit, you could hear definitely a distinct knocking sound so that's why it's pulled what my plan for this is to basically to disassemble it take it apart you know take the crank and the, the rods to the machine shop with the block have them uh, measure everything uh, probably machine the crankshaft and uh, put new uh, bearings in there and uh, get back to me <laughs> and I'm gonna put it back together put it in the car and hopefully I'll uh, solve, our, solve our knocking issue okay so you know obviously I'm not gonna it's not gonna be a step by step on uh, how to take off the manifold at least but I'm just gonna go around and uh, show you guys whatever uh, the person that had to, that I had take this off the car took apart and then uh, I'm gonna show you what I need what I'm taking off to to remove the manifold as one uh, one unit okay Okay, so first we're gonna start off by uh, removing all the connectors that we can see from the front of the car because the intake manifold, when you remove it, I'm gonna remove this the whole wiring harness that's connected to it and uh, well, some of these connectors are you know, attached to sensors and then some of them are attached to little brackets that are attached to the to the, um, to the cylinder heads and the block and whatnot so we're gonna go ahead and remove all of those and uh, yeah, so we're gonna start by the front and the first thing's gonna do, we're gonna be do it on on the right side. We're gonna disconnect this connector, deattach de this connector from this little bracket, then the spark plug wires on this side, and uh, you know, obviously, this one's got this removed. Okay, there's a little tab at the back of this connector that if you uh, press down, you can just slide this up like that, and then you just pull on these spark plug wires, just twist and pull, grab it by the boot, not by the the wires yeah. and we got some oil in this so it's a probably good idea to replace the valve cover gasket in this one when we go to put it back together okay we're gonna do the same thing on this side there's that this side the left side also has a camshaft sensor connector so we're gonna make sure we remove that just press on this tab and pull then the spark plug wires was leaking bad too so I definitely replaced the seals on this side as well and again same thing on this side this air hose needs to be disconnected from the engine if you're doing it from the car okay back to the front of the engine we're going to remove this uh, crankshaft sensor connector next uh, this connector that's going to I don't know what it looks like the oil pressure sending unit maybe um, I don't have a manual for this car right now <clears throat> and uh, so whatever I say whatever I say what sensor is take that with a grain of salt but this is obviously crankshaft position sensor and the one we did earlier was the camshaft and this is a coolant temperature sensor that we need to remove Okay, and it looks like uh, in the back, what he disconnected was uh, this vacuum line, obviously. These two water water lines, water pipes, then uh, he took off the old uh, throttle plate and then disconnected uh, this coolant line and this, what I assume is the connector for the throttle position sensor. And also these two connectors for the wiring harness. and. That's all I can see right now. <laughs> and what we're gonna have to do is, uh, well, we're gonna disconnect this from the cylinder head. Okay, so I sprayed some PV uh, blaster on this, so it's gonna should come out without much problem. Like 
There we go. All right, same thing for this one and PB blaster on this and uh, twist and it should come off. Okay, next we're gonna disconnect this uh, connector for the NOx sensor. Next, we need to disconnect this vacuum line that's going from the cylinder block to the to the top of the intake. And just twist and pull, and it should come out. Okay, next we're gonna remove these two uh, wiring harness connectors. And just there's tabs underneath them. Just press on them and pull. And I think this should be the same thing. Well, this one's got a tab under the connector. There we go. Okay, looking around, I think that's it. That's all that was attaching the the intake to the to the engine. Well, as far as I could see, anyway. Um, so yeah, next I'm just gonna remove. Uh, there's four. There's four 12 millimeter bolts on each side for the intake that attaches it to each cylinder head. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those next, and then pull on the intake and see if it'll come off. Okay, same thing on the left side. It's four bolts holding it in. Three and four. Now we're ready to see if we can lift this thing off the, the box. That's it. We did alright. Okay, here's how it looks like with the intake manifold removed. We got our uh, intake manifold gasket still on here. And uh, yeah, so next I'm gonna remove this pipe, which is in, held in place by these four 10 uh, millimeter bolts. Okay, there are O-rings here. Make sure you replace these and uh, don't forget. Okay, otherwise you're gonna, you can't reuse these. They're gonna leak. So make sure you replace them. Okay, next we're gonna remove all the timing belt. Uh, we're gonna take the timing belt out, the harmonic balancer and all the timing belt components. Okay, so first step is gonna be uh, removing this uh, left side timing belt cover. And we're gonna align our, uh, the timing marks on our camshaft. There's our cover. Okay, so the marks we need to align are, uh, well, this notch that someone's got white out on. This needs to align up with uh, this notch that's in the rear, the back timing belt cover. So, and we do that by turning our uh, harmonic balancer or crankshaft clockwise until this comes and line, lines up exactly with this one. That looks good. 